Ed from Gunmark TV and today we're looking at something a little bit different the Blaza F16. This shotgun's been around for a while now I remember when it was well one of the launch events was happened at the British shooting show there's lots of smoke and excitement so I thought I'd just revisit the shotgun and see see if anything's changed since it last came out. So this is the sporting variant and there's also a game variant and then you you have the choice of different grades now um, whereas the original would come with this low profile receiver as you see here which is still how the gun comes um, standard with just a plain receiver here as you can see um, the two other grades that are available now are the Grand Lux um, and what this means is you can now get engraving on the metalwork and the wood comes grade 6 and you can upgrade that to grade 8 if you want to go to the next tier you've got the Heritage again engraving but then you get some nice side plates that extend down here and you get selected grade 8 walnut for the gun so um, obviously it comes at a, 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 a premium but um, looks really good Right, so starting from the muzzle end, the gun's unloaded. You get two, you can see two flush fit chokes fitted here and you get five with the gun and they're proofed, steel proofed up to half choke, which is great. Um, you can see the front bead is a high vis element and that is, uh, identifies this as the sporting variant. If you were to have the game one, then you'd have a nickel silver uh, front bead instead. Um, as you can see, it's, it's mounted on a tapered ventilated rib and a, there's a solid mid rib connecting the two barrels together. Uh, the finish is a sort of matte black and that's done to a really high standard. And being 12 gauge only and the sporting variant you can get with 30 inch barrels or you can uh, select 32 inch barrels and they're cold forged uh, chrome plated. A nice little benefit of the sporting variant is if you take off the fore end using this button at the front here, you'll see this system in place here. You can actually attach uh, weights to this um, so that you can change the balance of the gun and you can add up to 170 gram, uh, grams of additional weight to the gun. And this actually works in unison with a balancing system in the butt of the gun. So if you take the, the butt pad off here, you can actually access uh, a system and you can add extra weight in there to change the balance uh, depending on what you want. So the steel receiver, as we said, very low profile and you can see F16 on there with a red colour and that again is another identifier of the sporting uh, variant. Um, the gun itself uh, cocks on opening and the trigger system is, is mechanical rather than inertia, so that's quite good reliability if you don't quite mount it correctly. Um, the trigger can also uh, be adjusted as a small Allen key that you can access there and you can actually see that you can just slide the trigger blade forwards and backwards um, just for those finer comfort details. They've also mounted the barrel selector in the trigger guard, so you just move that it's marked O and U and you just move it the corresponding direction and that is hooked up to your manual safety catch simply forward for fire, rear for safe so that's nice and easy. So if you go onto the Blaza website you can use their configurator and there are now actually when you when you order a gun there are certain sort of uh, stock options that you can make. So the one here is standard sporting layout you can now select this so not only can you select um, grade forward from so three or four you can also select to have an adjustable comb as well if you want that you can spec uh, the length of pull so there are various length of pull options um, at an additional cost and you can also select their intuition as it's called the stock has actually been designed for use for, for female shooters so the dimensions have been adjusted accordingly so it comes in with a a shorter length of pull, different dimensions around the grip here and that, that helps, um, helps it fit the female form a bit better which is a really good idea actually. So I really enjoyed using the Blaser F16. I was down at the clay ground and I, I put a good sort of 250-300 cartridges through it at clays at great expense and it, was, uh, it performed exactly as I would expect. 
Um, length of pull was a teeny bit short for me, but I would I just put an extender piece on there, and obviously if I was buying one, I would just select a slightly longer stock option, so that's nice. Um, it's great that Blas are now off uh, the additional engraving and everything like that, but I actually quite like the the sort of standard sort of planar look of the gun. Uh, moving forward to the controls, the trigger was great. I like the barrel selector and the trigger guard there as well. I use that quite a lot. Um, safety catch, I, I like a manual safety catch. All the controls are, you know, pretty slick. Um, nice tight lock up with the gun and equal resistance when you when you open and close it. Um, as you'll see in, in the video, the ejectors are particularly strong, which is always a good thing as well. So in use, very effective what it does, very high quality and, and as always with Blas, as the finish is, is done to a very high standard, which is, which is something you can't underestimate on a gun. So overall, a great option and there's going on options, there's tons of options you can choose from. So go and have a look at that configurator and, and see what you think. Any questions, pop them in the comments below, like and subscribe. Thank you very much.